Hey kids, Mr. Hartsfield here. Uh, going over another lesson. This is about piece movement. Uh, really basic beginner things. Uh, in case you forgot what our rules were or how the pieces move, I wanted to uh, give you an opportunity to study at home uh, and use our class time to play a little bit more and uh, just have a little bit more fun. So if you if you get all the basics down, it's going to make class time a lot more fun. You're not going to have to stop the games uh, to figure out, oh, is this a legal move? Um, you'll, you already know how. So here's our chessboard. A reminder or setup if you're playing white if you look at the bottom of the board it should go from a all the way down to H in alphabetical order if it's not you have the board in the wrong position uh, if you are black let's see if I can flip this boom okay if you are black the alphabet orders I mean go in the opposite way H through a reverse alph alphabetical order and the numbers for our ranks are gonna be going from 8 to 1 if you're white going from 1 to 8 wow I don't know how I moved those pieces around but I did okay from 1 to 8 okay so make sure your board is set up correctly I see a lot of students who get their pieces in the right spot but they end up um, just flipping the orientation of the board it's not a huge deal but it does help um, if you're trying to talk about a game uh, you want to be able to say I move my pawn to E four e4 okay and we always say the the letter name first when we're referring to a position this knight is going to not 6c but c6 so always say the letter name first when you're talking about uh, piece movement or referring to a position uh, or a square on the board all right uh, so we have our files going up and down we have our ranks going side to side okay uh, that's not a huge thing you need to remember but it's good to know just good stuff Alrighty then, let's check out some piece movements. Let's start with the lowly pawn. So the pawn is a pretty unique piece, like most of our pieces. Uh, the pawn, the first move that they make when they're on either the second rank here or black on the seventh rank, from this first starting position, a pawn can move two squares full forward, but only on this first move. After that, they can only move forward one, okay? And pawns can never move backwards, not allowed. So they only go forward, okay? Um, but when two pawns bump into each other, they are not allowed to capture one another like this. Uh, sorry, ooh, going all crazy. Um, so pawns can't just slam into each other and capture each other. They are capturing at angles. So this white pawn would capture, I don't know, there we go, on the E6 and the G6 uh, squares. So this pawn right here got a little sassy. Boop. This pawn could take care of business and capture diagonally, but it could not capture forward. So it can capture here. They could recapture diagonally. Um, and that's how pawns work. Uh, pawns, there's point values to every piece. Uh, the pawns are worth one point of material. Uh, but don't give away all your cookies for free. A lot of players will say, oh, it's just a pawn. No big deal. Um, it's not like I lost my, my queen or anything. Uh, but pawns are, are still very valuable, and a lot of times in the end game, the difference between a win and a loss will be because of a pawn. Uh, an example of that comes with promotion. So, say this little pawn over here on the H file makes his little way down to the 8th rank of black side, all the way across the board, boom! He gets to what's called promote. So that means he gets to turn into any piece that he's like. And most people say, I want to be a queen. Because who doesn't want to be a queen? Uh, and they'll just wreck house with the queen. And you could checkmate very easily with a queen and king. And you win the game. So don't discount your pawns. They're important pieces. Don't give away those cookies for free. Make people earn them, okay? So that's, that's, that's pawns for you. All right. Let's look at probably the most difficult uh, piece to figure out how to move. Uh, that is the knight. Uh, kids always mess up the knight. The knight is the one piece that can jump over other pieces. Uh, so let's say, let's put a board up here. Boom. So the knights can jump over their own pieces and they can jump over their opponent's pieces. Um, like that. Now, I've heard people use different uh, descriptions to describe how a, a knight move. Uh, some people will say, oh, just go two in any direction and pick a side from there. Um, so here's two forward, and you can go either this direction or that direction. 
uh, I've heard people say it makes an L shape. So just make an L by going two in one direction and then one to another direction. Or go one one direction and two in the another direction. Uh, doesn't matter how you slice it. This is how the knight moves. And if you notice, right now my knight is on a white square. But every time he moves, he's going to be moving to a dark square. Uh, so knights are always jumping from light square to dark square, so they, they're able to change. Okay, so dark square, light square, dark square, light square, doesn't matter. Next place I jump, it's going to be a different color. So and if you click on the knight here, you can see all the different spots that it can move. It has lots of range, uh, and, it, and it jumps. It's the only piece that jumps over. Uh, it does not take out, let's say, check this out. So you got a pawn here, we got a, a little rookie poo right there, and a queen right here. The, the, the knight does not get to take you out, take you out, take you out, and just rack up points here. The knight jumps over the pawn and the queen, or if you, depending on your perspective, and go this way, uh, he jumps, he clears all these pieces, and he lands on this and captures that rook. He doesn't get to just capture anything in his jumping path. That's not how it works. That'd be too uh, OP, okay? So he jumps, and that's how he captures. He doesn't just get to take everyone out, okay? All right, so that's how the knight works. Uh, definitely go back and, and practice with the knight. It is a little tricky. Uh, use the cheat sheets you have in class that we worked on, okay? Oh, also, the... Uh, knight is considered a minor piece. It is worth three points. So your pawns are worth one. Knights are worth three, just to recap. Okay. Next piece we'll talk about is also a minor piece. Uh, your other minor piece. That's uh, the bishop. So you have a light squared bishop right here and a dark squared bishop right here. Uh, unlike the knight, uh, if you're a dark squared bishop, you're a dark squared bishop until uh, you get killed and then the board is reset. And maybe you get lucky and they put you on the white square. But other than that, during a game, this, this uh, bishop's not going to be jumping uh, from color to color. He can only move on a diagonal. Diagonal. And they can move as far as their heart desires as long as there's not a piece in the way. Even your own piece. So if there's a pawn here, Mr. Bishop can't travel down here. He's stuck this way. He can't go past his own pawn. Uh, he can travel here or here, but he can't go this direction at all right now. Um, so no hopping like the knight. The knight's the only special hoppy piece. Uh, bishops, they got to stay on the ground and they got to uh, have a nice clear path. But once their path is clear, they can go as far as they like. So if you had a bishop here, this bishop can capture that one. Blow. Boom. Okay, so that's how that works. Next piece is the rook. This is a lot of beginner players favorite piece it's a, probably the easiest to kind of figure out uh, a rook can go up and down and sideways backwards forward but it moves in a left to right up and down pattern and just like the bishop travel as far as it likes uh, but it does have to stop if uh, something's in its path even if it's uh, what is going on there we go. Even if it's another uh, opponent's piece. So I can't, again, bulldoze and go through him. I can't hop over this piece. I have to capture this piece. If my piece is in the way, I cannot capture my opponent's piece. No hopping, no, no jumping or flying rooks. Okay. Uh, they must stay on the ground as well. Uh, but they have pretty good range. They could stare down a board. And uh, these rooks really like open files. So if you're here... And no pawns are in sight. Say there's a pawn here and a pawn here and a pawn there and a pawn there. This rook really wants to be on this file because this file is nice and open. This rook probably wants to be over here where that is nice and open. And they're kind of controlling this space. So they like all this room to play. So put your knights on, uh, or not, not knights, put your rooks on nice open files and they will uh, do more work for you that way. Okay. Queens are kind of a combination of a rook meets a bishop so put them together boom you get a you get a queen so the queen can do everything that a bishop can do you can go diagonal forwards backwards left right uh, and it can do everything a rook can do and go left right up and down so your queen is a pretty powerful piece uh, so that's why you want to kind of wait to get her out 
uh, check out the chess opening principles uh, to talk more about that. Um, I forgot to mention the rook is worth five points and it's considered a major piece. Your queen is worth five points from your rook, three points like a minor piece, and then kind of one bonus point. So it's worth nine big points. So nine points for your queen, very valuable piece. Okay. So uh, be careful with her, but she's, uh, she has a lot of range. She can do a lot of damage, uh, but don't blunder her and, and give away this. This is a big cookie to give away. That's, that's too much. So don't, don't mess around with that. Your king. Uh, your king does not have a point value, and that is because uh, he's worth everything. If you your king gets captured, which we'll talk about in a bit, then you lose the game. So there's no point of giving a point value because it's worth everything. Okay, so you could be up uh, a bunch of pieces. Your, your opponent only has a, a pawn, and then he promotes it and checkmates you. It doesn't matter if you were up. You lose the game because you got checkmated. But the king is kind of like a super pawn. He can only move one square at a time, but unlike a pawn, he can go in any direction, come on mouse, that he likes. Um, forwards, backwards, side to side, and he also captures that way too. So he can capture forward, diagonal, but his capturing is a little bit more difficult um, because he can't put himself in check. So if this piece is here, he would have to kind of maneuver around to get to it. Um, well, that's the king. Boop, boop, pretty simple. One little square at a time. Uh, but you want to keep him safe because he is very valuable. They take him, you lose. So keep him in a, a nice, cozy spot and learn how to castle and check out videos about that. Okay. Uh, let's talk about uh, kind of winning the game. How do you win? Uh, there are things called checks. Uh, a check is not how you win the game. But let's look at this pretty common opening. Uh, this would be the Scotch opening. Okay. Now let's pretend that uh, black moves his bishop right here. Now the bishop is attacking the king. So this is called check. So the black player might say, oh, check. And uh, that just means I am threatening to capture a king and you need to do something about it. So in chess, uh, you can't make a move if you're in chess, if you're in check, if it doesn't get you out of check. So white's next move, he has a couple ways of getting out of check. He can move his king. He will lose his right to castle. So that's not a very good move. But it's an option, so you can do that. Uh, he can block the piece. So now this bishop, remember he can't jump and fly. So he will stop right here if he captures, and he'll get recaptured, which is silly. So he wouldn't do that. But this would uh, stop the attack here. Or I can move, you know, another piece there to block the attack. You got to either get out of the way, block it, or if it was possible, let's say this player wasn't paying attention and he forgot... Um, let's say, let's make some silly moves. Let's say he forgot that this nice pawn was sitting there and he put his, this happens all the time. And he put his, uh, bishop here because he's excited. He wants to get a check. He's like, oh, I'm going to capture the king. Rawr. And he puts this silly piece here. He says, check, recapture. No more threat of, of capturing our king. Problem solved. Um, so that's the three ways to get out of check. Move your king. Block the piece that's checking you, or uh, capture that piece. Get him out of the way. That's that's ideal if you can just take him out, but not always the case. That is called a check. Uh, a checkmate. Let's start up a nice game here. Um, boop, 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 boop. Let's go back. Let's go all the way back. Okay. Here is a silly checkmate that you should never fall victim to. Uh, what do they call it? The child's mate? I forget what they call it, but you put your queen out here. Or you could do your probably bishop first. Okay. And your your whole point is to eyeball this uh, f7 square. And let's let's say these guys are just making poor moves. Oh, I want to get my, my rook out and have them fight people. And he's being silly. Uh get your get your queen out right here. Your eyeball on this. Uh you have big threats and he he's like, yeah, I got my rook out. I'm gonna do damage. And then you could take your queen, and put him right here. This is check because you are threatening to capture, but black has no way of um, disputing this. So he can't capture your queen because you're, see, the computer doesn't let me, it's a smart computer, because that your queen is protected by your bishop. So if your king was to take, that bishop would gobble up the king and you would, you can't do that. Uh, my queen cannot be captured, so there's no piece on the board here. Uh, who can raw attack my my friend? 
she is protected. And then you also cannot move out of check. So the king only has one move. It's right there, and he would still be in check. So this is called checkmate. Checkmate is where the king cannot ex escape the check that they are in. And that is a game. You're done. You win. If you checkmate your opponent, you lose if you uh, are checkmated. There are some little uh, ways where you don't win and you don't lose. It's called a draw. Uh, one way to draw. There's a couple ways to draw. One way is called a stalemate. So let's say it's White's move. And White's like, I'm going to go trap that king and get him in a check. And he silly moves the queen to right here. Now, the king, right, the black king is safe on a8. Uh, he's not threatened. He's not in check. Uh, and, you know, the queen, or the king can only move one square at a time. So he can move here, here, or here. The problem is the queen is staring down this. So if he was to move here, he'd be in check. If he was to move to b7, he'd be in check. And he can't move to b8 because the queen would also put him in check here. So the king has no legal moves. He has nowhere safe to go. There are no other pieces on the board. If he had a piece, say, right here, he still couldn't move the pawn because we know pawns don't attack this way. Uh, so he has, he has no move. That's safe. Let's say the king was uh, elsewhere. What are you doing, pawn? Oh, let's say the pawn was elsewhere. Then the, the black player would have to move there. Okay. But if he captures, boom, that's stalemate again. No legal move. No safe spot. And that is a tie. Even if, let's say, white was just crushing it. He had, let's say he had two queens. He's going crazy. This is still a draw. Uh, it's a tied game. White doesn't win because they're being silly and they didn't know how to checkmate. Okay, so learn your checkmates uh, before you stalemate somebody. Okay. Another way that you can uh, tie, well, first of all, you could also also just say, hey, do you want to consider a draw? And you could just call it call it even if you want to, if you're in, I don't know, a similar position. So it's, it's you're always free to say, I'm done playing. You could resign and just quit and then you lose. Or you can agree to a draw and say, you know what, this is going to take too long, or whatever your reason is, and uh, call it a tie. Um, here's an example of lack of material, okay? It is impossible, what are you doing? It is impossible for either uh, player, I'm making illegal moves, to checkmate the other one. Uh, remember this kind of space between the kings? I would put myself in check here, and why would put themselves in check? Uh so they, they can't touch each other. They can't get close. This is illegal. You can't you can't have kings next to each other. So there's no way to checkmate. That's going to be a draw automatically. So a lot of times you'll see in games where say there's a pawn and then you know gobbles up. Boom. That's game. Game over with the pawn on the board. Say it's over here. This is this is a, a, a win for white because no matter what black does, we're going to promote and uh, and win the game with a queen and a king. But if no other pieces are on the board, this is a draw. Kings can't checkmate each other, okay? Um, do I have anything else? I think that's about it for today. Um, hmm. I would say go into some kind of chess site. I, I do chess.com. That's where I like to play. But if you're playing a real game on chess.com, uh, it doesn't let you make illegal moves. So if you're a new player especially, I think it's important to play over the board. Um, but at the end of the day, play, play a lot on the computer too, because that will help you <clears throat> learn correct and incorrect moves and it won't let you do something dirty. If you're playing with your buddies in school, they may be learning as well and they may let you get away with the, an illegal move. So computers will only let you make, uh, proper moves. So it's a good way to train, um, that way. And then also just get on a site, figure out what your, um, ratings are and play people within those ratings. Uh, so yeah, um, if you like to donate to the channel, uh, support the chess team, just go ahead and drop a bunch of money off in my mailbox at school, and we could buy t-shirts and snacks for club. Uh, large bills, unmarked. Thank you.